Smith here, Regional Agronomy Manager for 360 Yield Center. And here in Southern Michigan, we're all frustrated in terms of soil moisture. We're wet, we can't plant corn and soybeans. So let's talk about the one crop today that we do have actively growing, wheat. When we think about wheat, we kind of affectionately joke around about this crop as being poverty grass, right? But are there certain ways that we can change our agronomic practices to make this crop more profitable and more efficient? When I, when I think of this, I think of how we time our nitrogen and our sulfur applications in wheat. Here in this field of mine today, the first week of May, I have crop staged this wheat at week seven, weeks seven. So when we think about what this plant needs throughout the season, according to Pioneer and Oklahoma State data, it shows that this wheat plant has only used about 25% of its nitrogen needs for the entire season. Now wheat, much like corn, needs a lot of nitrogen late season for grain fill. So when we need 75% of our nitrogen needs for this crop, and we think about the weather we've had this year with all the precipitation, now the question becomes, can we time nitrogen better in this crop? You know, there's a lot of folks out there that will go out and apply nitrogen early in the season. We gotta think about what this nitrogen application does to the crop. Early nitrogen encourages more tillering. Okay, tillering two to three inch tall. Wheat can be good, can be bad based on your plant stand. If you already have a really good stand, we don't need to increase tillering at this point. Essentially, that's just wasted time that that nitrogen is sitting in the field. You know, when we think about wheat in nitrogen management, our soil temperatures are a lot different than corn. Okay, soil temperatures are cooler. Okay, typically that basic rule of thumb before we plant corn and soybeans is we wait until soil temperatures is 50 degrees. Well, the reason is because A, we need germination. And when we think about nitrogen, you know, those nitrosomonas bacteria aren't firing until we get to about 50 degrees. So when we think about making those applications in wheat, much like corn, I don't ever want wheat to have a bad day. I want to get some nitrogen up front, you know, right after tillering to get that crop in a point where it's never starved. But I want to be able to come across this crop later. Okay, like I said, this corn, this wheat plant needs 75% of its nitrogen past this week seven stage. So we're going to come through here with stream bars. Okay, we try to eliminate as much burn as possible and make our nitrogen application. Okay. Much like corn, wheat, it's not about how quickly we get our nitrogen out there, but trying to meet the demands. For instance, 75% of our nitrogen needs after this point in our crop. How do we become more efficient with that nitrogen application? And we all know the importance of sulfur application in wheat. When we apply nitrogen, let's apply sulfur as well and get this plant started as good as we possibly can.